Okay, this poem is called Genocidal Age. The TV is off. I'm back in my place. No spiritual distractions or barriers. A momentary escape. No, can you believe this? No, what's up with that? No socially accepted trick society pulls out of its hat. Being in, not of, the world a Christian strives hard to be. If such a goal is to be reached, you must begin with TV. Monitor what you turn on as if Christ is right there to see. Purposely exposed to intense levels of sin deemed not reality. After a movie or TV show, help the young to somehow learn. How we've misused Mother Earth and the bridges we burned. Physical appearance is overrated. Spiritual sacrifices often made. Temporary facades of happiness. Early stages. A genocidal age. And believe me when I tell you, it is the early stages of a genocidal age. <laughs> and genocide is killing or is the, is the elimination of one group or um, groups of individuals you know the elimination just like how the Jews tried to or how Hitler tried to destroy the Jews genocide how the blacks tried to destroy whites I mean the whites tried to destroy blacks genocide and vice versa um, the whole nine yards but and so you know that's what's so important about watching that thing watching the TV when you're watching TV being very careful about the things that you allow yourself to watch for one thing and then also the things that you allow your children to watch because see if you allow yourself to watch anything and your child as well but no matter what it is it is a repetitive thing once it's repetitive it becomes embedded in your heart once such is embedded in your heart the determination about it's good is irrelevant because now it's there you know um, it's like, um, you know you don't need it in your heart, but you still want to look at it. The Bible says, abstain from the very appearance of evil. Evil is anything that's contrary to his will. And if, in being contrary to his will, there's an inducement of sin, entertainingly, then the Bible says that God hates sin. <laughs> and if he hates it, and we're supposed to be Christ-like, then that means we hate it too. No man should want harm done to any other individual, physically or spiritually. But it seems that we drive off of that. Okay, that poem was entitled Genocidal Age. The next poem I would like to read is called Hoping for a Drive-By. See you for hoping for a drive-by.